right now, and especially as it relates to perhaps this windfall tax. Now, you don't think that legislation is going to pass, but this is just yet another piece of legislation that probably won't pass as well, because you've got this, you've got NOPEC. Why are they doing all of this? This is not a new story. You know, every time oil prices go up, there is somebody in Washington from either party, I might add, who will, you know, argue for some kind of populist legislation to to crack down on the oil industry. It never comes up for a vote. It's it's a you know dead on arrival, as as we say. Uh, so there is absolutely you know zero point zero percent chance that that this will get through Congress. Zero point zero. But is there any chance whatsoever? Say there's a little bit of a a little bit of a deep push when it comes to the midterm elections that we're going to get. Perhaps they have a better result in terms of Congress. So even if they don't, and we do see this red wave or the the R wave that we're expecting. Is there any likelihood that they're going to look at a deteriorating inflation set of circumstances, the fact that OPEC is maintaining its stance that there needs to be these cuts to production because of a supply surplus, that they could potentially eye something like this? Because they've already introduced the legislation when it comes to buybacks, that 1% tax. Why not something similar for the windfall profits? Because it's done elsewhere. Oh, it, you're right. It happened in the UK, for example. But... In in Washington, there is just n- never the votes in Congress to you know, single out a particular industry for you know a special tax. Uh, there are some potential constitutional issues around the so-called bill, bills of attainder uh, provision that could come into play. But even setting that aside, again, we have seen this kind of rhetoric before under under Bush, under Obama, under Trump. Uh, and and currently, so uh, it's just political messaging. Look, everybody wants to get reelected in in seven days, and beating up on oil companies is a very popular vote getter. What can I say?